Anyone else get weary when they see the Sony logo? They haven't really been doing that well lately. Oh, got Columbia Pictures. Love this company. Oh, damn, unless you read the fine print and then you just see it's Sony again. Things are never gonna be the same now. I mean, look at this. You got aliens. You got big green guys tearing down buildings. Well, actually, there aren't any green guys tearing down any buildings in this drawing. And what does this have to do with the construction site? Why did he even bring it here? It's time we change too. So, Avengers came out in 2012, which is why they are in the construction site. And this movie came out in 2017. That's only five years. Why is it eight years? Just say five and be done with it. Damn, this logo taking a long ass time to get there, ain't it? Man. Just in case you forgot you went to see a Marvel movie, they remind you five minutes and 24 seconds in. You're welcome. New York, Queens. It's a rough bar over here, it's home. Who you talking to? Happy knows what it looks like when kids film things with their camera phone. So, uh, why'd they call you Happy? Now I know when you have a high paying job and you think that you're so important that you don't want to be a glorified babysitter, but Happy can't just talk to the kid. Come on now, don't be a dick. No. Now I know everyone got hyped on this part, but the thing I liked about Spider-Man was that he was his own person. He doesn't need Iron Man to be great. He's just great on his own. God damn it. That's me, I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, I know Spider-Man is strong at all, but he's never been able to jump a hundred yards. Come on now. You can't say he's slung over there, because you can clearly see he doesn't touch Cap's shield until after he's already halfway there. Okay, so remember when he said that Queens was one of the toughest so worlds? That is the nerdiest bully I've ever seen in my life. Students, don't forget about your homecoming tickets. Do you have a date for homecoming? Thanks, Jason, but I already have a date. So either she isn't aware that she's a part of the broadcast right now and feels she is one of the students he's referring to, or she is so full of herself that she thinks he must be directing the broadcast to her, though it's clearly part of the segment that they're on right now. Join me together. We'll build my new Lego Death Star. What? No way, that's awesome. How many pieces? 3,803. Now, I just knew that they just made this number up out of nowhere, but it really is 3,803. Damn it. Oh, well, I'll get you next time. See, Flash, being the fastest isn't always the best if you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else not convinced that this guy's going to take out Peter Parker in the parking lot at 3.50 p.m. after school? Come on now, just stop. He's a terrible bully. Parker doesn't even look scared. Hmm. Cinema Sins, does this count as roll credits? I think so. You guys are losers. But then why do you sit with us? Well, apparently this guy doesn't understand what someone sitting with him would be like, uh, as in sitting at the same table, because she's about two tables down from him. God damn, his shoes is dirty. Aunt May, what's going on? Am I at the call child services? Okay, Spider-Man! Do a flip! Yeah! Do a flip? What do you think this is? Am I here to entertain you? Am I here to entertain you? And spider mans so gullible, he went on ahead and did it. Jeez. Working nice, come on, dude. That man, you got all your clothes on. He did not wake you up. Don't make me come down there, you punk. Stanley, you ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> That's just funny. You have reached the voicemail box of Happy Hogan. Hey, Happy. Um, here's my report for the night. Report for the night? Get off of Happy's coattail and go be Spider-Man. The sun is going down. I'm sure there's more crime to be stopped. But like I could be doing more. You know, I'm just curious when the next real mission is going to be. When's the next real mission? Right now. Peter Parker is a neighborhood Spider-Man. He's okay with stopping neighborhood criminals. It's as if he isn't affected by the common criminal that killed his Uncle Ben. What are we doing? Who is this Spider-Man? Tell you what, he's no Peter Parker of mine. What's the matter? Thought you loved larb. It's too larby? Not larby enough. How many times do you have to say larb before you talk to me? Uh, I'm sure he will respond if it was funny, but boo, you're not funny. I uh, need a new backpack. And <laughs> some new shoes. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Continue. Can you spit venom? Can you summon an army of spiders? 
So though this isn't a failure of this movie, but a failure of another Marvel movie, I just wanted just to point it out. Though Peter is YouTube famous and he has never seen him do any of that on this YouTube channel, this is still a valid question because it's an Ant-Man unjustified ability. So if anyone was going to have the ability, it would be Spider-Man, being that he was bitten by a spider. How far can you shoot your webs? How loud can you make your voice? Your gym teacher will be. Can you at least stand on the side that Cap is pointing to? Man, keep missing these opportunities. Can I be your guy in the chair? What? Ned's not doing setups. Yeah, you know how there's a guy with a headset telling the other guy where to go? Like, like if you're stuck in a burning building, I could tell you where to go because there'd be screens around me and I could you know, swivel around them because I could be your guy in the chair. Okay, I can think of several better descriptions besides guy in the chair. Dispatcher, sidekick partner even eyes in the sky he would be immediately disqualified being he starts off describing common things awkwardly spider-man doesn't need anyone describing a man with a black jacket and a gun as this person pointing something at you with malice who is it is it a guy a girl what do they have you aren't helping me i'm good no thank you f thor marry iron man and kill hulk well what about the spider-man oh gross He's probably like 30. So I get that Spider-Man is the new kid on the block, but Iron Man is the one that she wants to marry, and he's probably the oldest out of all the ones that she's even mentioned. So why is Spider-Man so gross? I don't get it. I'm sure he's like 45. You don't know Spider-Man. What the fuck? Why would you say that? Do you not understand what I mean by no one can find out about this? Oh. oh. I, my parents will kill me if anything's broken. Why does all Hollywood movie parties gotta have kids breaking things? I've never been to a party where things were just broken out of nowhere. Oh, was it because I wasn't invited to many of them? I can't, I cannot do this. Spider-Man is not a party trick. But you just did a flip for a random guy on the street. He's a party trick. Yeah, yeah, I know it's supposed to be funny, but as an actual Spider-Man fan, I know there's no reason why he can't shoot his webbing on that sign and fling himself across the doggone golf course, because there's trees right after that sign. Okay, so this is one of the first times I'm supposed to just ignore that Spider-Man has no spider senses. What kind of Spider-Man movie is this? Peter, where are you? The hat's not working. This is not cool. You're right. The hat's not cool. What are you, like a casual Indiana Jones? Okay, so again, I know Spider-Man is strong, but there's no way he's falling from a mile high into water and surviving that. The parachute didn't work, right? Right. Okay, what are we doing here? Take him down now, huh? Steady Crockett, there are people who handle this sort of thing. Right, like Spider-Man. Well, at least he used to, but for some reason in this movie, he has to ask permission from his big brother to be able to stop crying. Look, forget the flying vulture guy, please. Why? Yes, why? Because I said so. Because you said so? Who are you? Are you the superhero god here? Do I have to pray to the altar of the almighty Iron Man to be able to fight crime? Man, Iron Man ain't got shit on me. I thought this was the anti-gravity gun. And what were you going to do with that? Suspend him in mid-air until he got sick and apologized? I think that gun was a better choice. Now you're the shocker. Go out there and find that weapon he lost. Maybe there was a scene that got cut from the movie that we didn't get to see where it showed where they did inventory right after they came out of that van. But if not, there's no way that he can know that there was any type of device or weapon that wasn't accounted for. So what weapon are you referring to again? On behalf of all the scientists in the world, this is just embarrassing. First of all, these guys don't have any disguises. And second, is that a gun? Third of all, was he about to shoot a kid for being at school? Dang, they went from common criminals to full-blown terrorists. Dude, a gang with alien guns run by a guy with wings? Yeah, they have a lair. Badass. Take my damn mask off, man. What do you think this is? Hello? Got a blip on my screen here. You left New York? Bro, don't try to act like you care now. I've been calling you for two months and you ain't called me back yet. Don't worry about where I'll be at, Happy. I'm at where I'm at. Are you kidding me? This place is huge. I've seen bigger. And that's what she said. Peter, 
Why are we removing the tracker from your suit? Why are you even allowed to? Better yet, why do you even know how to? Now this makes me wonder why Iron Man hasn't been hacked by now. So in the first scene, he hops onto a dump truck, and now he's on a tow truck. I saw that. I don't really want to celebrate something that was built by slaves. Oh, I'm sure the Washington Monument wasn't built by... God damn it, security guard guy. I was about to get him. The Washington Monument is 555 feet, 5 and 1 eighth inches tall. Uh, actually, it was remastered in 2013. It is 554 feet, 7 and 11 30 seconds of an inch. Thank you. No, 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 Karen, what's going on up there? The Chitauri Corps is detonated. But why? You just said... It would require radiation to transform it into an explosive state. And you can miss me with that x-ray at the security gate, because it should have went off then. So the movie's trying to tell me all we have to do is shoot x-rays at the aliens when they came out of the portal in the Avengers movie? <gasps> what's wrong? Never been this high before. Never been this high before. I know he's from Queens, but has he never been to Manhattan? There's several skyscrapers that are taller than this obelisk. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just keep moving. Stand down! Return to the ground immediately! Damn, if he was black, he'd have been shot a long time ago. Return to the ground, or we will open fire! Will you? Because I don't understand why you haven't shot him already. That's like your third time telling it. <laughs> it's not a Spider-Man movie without a Jesus allegory. Yeah, no, 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 see. please, please, please. Let's just, have like, it. You don't understand. This, this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. <sighs> You're Peter Parker, man. Make your own goddamn suit. You don't need it. You're fine. You're Spider-Man. You are awesome. Man, fuck Iron Man and his goddamn suit. Aunt May may be fine, but both her feet gotta be left because she can't dance for nothing. So I just got through watching this awesome scene where Michael Keaton tells Peter Parker, I will kill you and everyone you love if you mess with my business again. And it was getting good. And then they remind me why this movie is so bad. Why doesn't Peter Parker have spider senses? You know how dope that would have been for Peter Parker or Spider-Man to matrix around that punch? Would have been so dope. But no. That's what we got. Peter Parker punched right in the face to the floor. Why didn't he just stomp on that? <laughs> Damn, that was funny. I'm in Flash's car. Why is he in Flash's car? He's Spider-Man. He can sling through the city. Now you know damn well he didn't survive that. Hey Happy, what uh, what are you doing here? Right, what is this grown ass man doing in a high school bathroom? No! Hey guys, your boy DeAnthony, thank you for watching. This is my first of hopefully many videos. Hopefully if you guys like them, I'll continue to do these. I had a ball doing these. Um, of course, this isn't my original idea. Uh, this is, you know, something I got from Cinema Sins with my own little twist. So if you go, if you don't know what Cinema Sins is, go ahead and check their version out at uh, Cinema Sins on YouTube, and you know, kind of compare it and see what you guys think, and see. Let me know if I should continue doing these or if I should go ahead and throw in the towel. I probably won't throw in the towel, but still, uh, hopefully, I, I at least made you guys think about some of the points in the movie. I, these are just things that want, that were on my chest, so. I uh, hope you enjoy, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace. What the f Now, being that this is around Homecoming, you do know that this could just be him trying out a new costume. There are Spider-Man costumes.